Hi, my name is Vicky Scotto, and I am the cello teacher, also the violin teacher, with Key to Joy. So right now, we're going to be talking about the cello. So when you get your cello, um, there are a few different types of cases that it comes in, either a soft case or a hard case. Just make sure that you're very careful when you take it out that you don't um, hit the cello against anything. So once you have your cello out, we need to set it up correctly. So at the bottom of your cello is what's called an end pin. And there's a little screw that you can adjust it. So when it's inside the case, the end pin is like this, and it's tight. When you take the uh, cello out to play, you want to loosen it just a little bit. Uh, once you um, determine how much you take your end pin out for the chair that you're sitting on, it'll be a lot easier um, for each practice session because you'll remember to take it out to the same spot. So I'll take it out about this much and we'll see if, that, if that's good enough. So when you're holding the cello, the end pin should be about enough so that the bottom peg, which is the one for the C string here, should be about where your left ear is, about. You don't want it to be like this. So if the end pin is out too much, this will happen. And that is, that's wrong, that's too high. If the end pin is not out enough, the cello will be too low and you won't be able to grab it correctly. And the pegs will be right here at your mouth. That's too low. It needs to be just a little bit higher than that. So once you um, get used to it, it'll be a lot easier um, taking out your cello and setting it up. So this is about right. The peg is about at my ear and it feels good. The back of the cello should rest right about here and the body, the lower part of the cello, you should be able to grab between your knees so that you can let go of your arms and it's and you're totally grabbing the cello just with your knees. You don't want to sit all the way back in the chair like this. And you have to be at the edge of your chair, just enough so you're not going to fall. And your legs should be, should make a nice little 90 degree angle to the floor. If you sit all the way back in the chair and try to hold your cello, which I know it's more comfortable, but you're not going to be able to hold it right and it'll slip. Now, also important, sometimes the end pin slips on the floor. So if you have a carpet to practice on, that's great because the carpet will keep the cello from moving. But sometimes you don't, you have a wood floor. If that's the case, you might wanna take something heavy and put the end pin against the heavy item and that will keep it from slipping when you play. So next, we're gonna talk about our bow hold, which is very important. Now, the cello bow hold is a little bit different from the violin bow hold. Now, I know it can be confusing because um, in your class, we will tell the violin players to put their pinky on the end of the bow. But for the cello, our pinky actually curves around the frog like this. Here is our um, bow. We take our thumb, we put it right around here near the nook of the frog and curve all of our fingers around. And when we're playing, you want to keep your fingers nice and relaxed when you're playing. If you tighten up your fingers, it's going to sound awful. Your left hand position is also very important um, so that you play the correct notes and you play in tune. So on your cello, you're actually going to have some tapes and that will tell you where to put your fingers. Um, so that will make it a little bit easier for you. You'll also have a little marker on the back so you know exactly where to put your thumb. Now, also important that your left hand is not really, really tight. If your hand is really, really tight and you're gripping the cello really hard, your hand is going to hurt so much and you're going to hate playing cello. If you only press halfway on the string, you're going to get that sound. If your cello sounds like that, chances are 
you're not pressing the string hard enough. So on the cello, there are a few major important parts. We have the end pin, the fine tuners, the bridge, which holds up the strings. There are four strings, C, G, D, and A. There is the fingerboard and the tuning pegs, and then the scroll. The tuning pegs and the fine tuners are what tune the strings to make them sound good. Don't try to tune them yourself um, because if you don't know how to tune them and you turn the peg too much, you might break the string. So make sure that only your teacher or someone that knows how to tune a cello um, touches the pegs and the fine tuners. I know when you're first learning how to hold the cello, it can be a little difficult to hold it between your knees. Whatever you do, make sure that you don't do this because it's more comfortable. Uh, you won't be able to play the cello correctly if you hold it like this. And when you're holding it correctly, it shouldn't hurt, okay? So if it hurts a little bit, then maybe you should adjust your end pin.